On October 11, 1897, a year after Ethiopia defended itself from Italian colonization at the Battle of Adwa, Emperor Menelik II authorized the flag containing a rectangular tricolor from top to bottom, red, yellow, and green. But changed the order from red, yellow, and green to green, yellow, and red. Before Menelik's empire Ethiopia uses those colors but not with the same order. This flag will eventually have the first letter of his name placed on the center stripe, and it will become a clear reference to the Ethiopian Empire. As the only African state that resisted modern European colonialism having defeated the Kingdom of Italy in 1896, green, yellow and red, the colors of the flag of Ethiopia, have come to represent the Pan-Africanist ideology due to the country's history of having avoided being taken over by a colonial power. Numerous African countries have adopted the colors into their national flags, and they are similarly used as a symbol by many Pan-African organizations and the Rastafari movement. Green, yellow, and red are now found on the national flags of many African nations. The color combination was borrowed from the flag of Ethiopia. The Ethiopian flag has influenced the flags of many Pan-African organizations and polities. Except for relatively brief periods of influence and occupation by the Kingdom of Italy, Ethiopia remained outside European control during the colonial era by defeating the Italian army at the Battle of Adwa, Ethiopia, in 1896, ending the Italian protectorate. As a result, the country drew the admiration of many newly independent states in Africa. The adoption of the Ethiopian national colors by many Pan-African entities is a consequence of this. The first African state to adopt a gold, red and green flag upon independence was Ghana in 1957, designed by Theodosia Oko. This Ethiopian flag has been changed several times over the years, as the country itself evolved from a monarchy to a dictatorship and then to parliamentary democracy. But these three colors will remain, the flag with the three stripes, green, yellow, and red, was officially used since 1897 after the Battle of Adwa against Italia. The old flag with the Lion of Judah comes from a flag used in the Jubilee Palace and is the official symbol, the Provisional Administrative Council, PMAC, or DERG. Remove the crown from the head of the Lion of Judah and replace the cross with a spear, calling this emblem Lion of Ethiopia. In 1987 through a referendum, Ethiopia becomes a People's Democratic Republic, Megistu was confirmed as president. The country is divided into 24 administrative regions and 5 autonomous regions, the original and still widely used flag, what does the Ethiopia flag mean and represent, colors are interpreted in different ways. The official symbolism, green represents the fertility of the country's soils. Yellow represents love of the country, red represents strength and reminds us of the blood that was shed in the fight against the oppressors. In addition, the attributed interpretation refers to the Christian Trinity. Thereafter, green by the Holy Spirit, yellow for God the Father, red for the Son, at the same time, the colors symbolize the Christian virtues of hope, green, charity, yellow, and faith, red, but, under the empire the colors were attributed as follows, green was the symbol of the country or of hope. Yellow represented the church, peace, natural wealth, and love, Red was the color of the power of the blood of patriots and of faith. The emblem in the middle strip of the flag shows a five-pointed star of equal length radiating spokes. This is a symbol of the equality of all ethnic and gender groups and faith. The rays represent a bright future for Ethiopia, the blue background represents peace and democracy. In March 1957, Ghana became the first country in sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence and Kwame Kruma became the country's first prime minister and president, Kruma emerged as a major advocate for the unity of independent Africa. And he embodied a political activist approach to Pan-Africanism, championing the quest for regional integration of the whole of the African continent, you see, the concept of Pan-Africanism is a worldwide movement that aims at encouraging and strengthening the bonds of solidarity between all indigenous and diaspora ethnic groups of Africa.
Nkrumah was strongly inspired by Ethiopia's resistance against foreign occupation and decided to incorporate the country's tricolor scheme into the Ghana flag as a way of paying homage to Ethiopia for being the only African country that was never colonized. They took Ethiopia's flag, which by this time had the green stripe on top instead of red, flipped it, and placed a black five-point star in the center of the flag. Soon other newly independent African countries would follow suit. Guinea, upon gaining independence in 1958, took the same idea but this time they went for a vertical tricolor scheme instead, Mali's flag is Guinea's flag but with green at the beginning and red at the last strip, the flag of Cameroon, similar to Mali, has red at the middle band with a yellow star and a yellow stripe at the end of the flag. The flag of Senegal is very similar to that of Mali but with a green star in the middle, other African countries that had these colors in their flags. Include Togo, Comoros, Burkina Faso, Seychelles, Guinea-Bissau, Sao Tome and Principe, Congo, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Mauritania, Benin, and so many others, these three colors red, green, and yellow with the inclusion of black will later be known as the Pan-African colors. Although the meaning of the individual colors used in a country's flag may differ from country to country, the countries of the flags that make use of the Pan-African colors have similar meaning with green representing the unique nature of the continent having good land for agriculture, red representing the blood, and common heritage of Africans during the fight against oppression from colonialism, yellow representing the wealth of Africa, and finally, black which signifies the color of the people. However, there is another variation of the Pan-African color scheme, developed by Marcus Mosiah Garvey, the Jamaican-born founder of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNIA, that makes use of just red, green, and black colors. Countries like Malawi, Kenya, and the former country of Biafra were inspired by this color combination. The colors of these flags do however share similar meanings with those inspired by Ethiopia, now, the adoption of these particular colors by these African countries was not because they lacked artistic or design tastes. We must understand that at that time, these countries were just recovering from colonial oppression. And the way they could relate with each other was to adopt similar colors as similar colors may signify similar heritage. And again the ideals of Pan-Africanism which is a call for a united Africa was a big deal for the continent African at that time. We are indeed grateful to these African countries for choosing to adopt the Pan-African colors in their flags because every time the flags of these countries are raised, they remind us of the great African soil, the wealth in the continent, the color of the people, and above all, the blood of those who gave everything for the land they loved. Let's see those countries' flags with their meanings. Mali, the Malian national flag was adopted on April 4, 1959. It is a tricolor with three equal vertical stripes. From the hoist, the colors are green, gold, and red, the Pan-African colors. The flag of Mali is almost identical to the flag of Guinea, with the exception that the colors are in reverse order, the green is a symbol of the nation's fertile lands. Yellow represents purity and the mineral wealth of Mali. The red color symbolizes the bloodshed for independence from the French. Senegal the flag of Senegal is a tricolor consisting of three vertical green, yellow, and red bands charged with a five-pointed green star at the center. Adopted in 1960, it has been the flag of the Republic of Senegal since the country gained independence that year. Green is regarded as the color of the prophet, the yellow color of the flag is believed to symbolize wealth, the red color in Senegal's flag represents the sacrifice and the color of life. The colors also represent the three political parties that merged to form the Senegalese Progressive Union, Benin, the national flag of the Republic of Benin consists of two horizontal yellow and red bands on the fly side and a green vertical band at the hoist. Adopted in 1959 to replace the French tricolor, it was the flag of the Republic of Dahomey until 1975, when the People's Republic of Benin was established. The colors are designed to represent the natural beauty of the country, including the savanna to the north and the palm groves located to the south. The flag also symbolizes the bloodshed by those who fought for the nation. The colors are also a tribute to the pan africanist movement and are used by other African nations as a sign of unity. 
Togo, the flag of Togo was officially adopted on April 27, 1960. It has five equal horizontal bands of green, top and bottom, alternating with yellow. There is a white five-pointed star on a red square in the upper hoist side corner, the red of that field is said to represent the bloodshed by countrymen during the internal struggle for independence. Green is symbolic of the country's agricultural wealth, while yellow is symbolic of mineral wealth. The five horizontal stripes represent the five regions of Togo. Guinea, the national flag of Guinea was adopted on November 10, 1958. The flag features the pan-African colors of red, yellow, and green. Red symbolizes the struggle for independence, yellow represents the sun and the riches of the land, while green is symbolic of the country's vegetation, Cameroon, the national flag of Cameroon was adopted in its present form on September 3, 1990 after Cameroon became a unitary state. It is a vertical tricolor of green, red and yellow, with a five-pointed star in its center. Cameroon was the second nation to use Pan-African colors in its flag. Cameroon's flag is similar to other African countries' flags including Guinea, Mali, and Senegal. The yellow star on this flag varies in size but is always located in the center of the red stripe, the color red stands for unity, yellow represents the sun and the savannas located in the northern part of Cameroon, and the green is symbolic of the forests located to the south. There is also a yellow star featured in the center of the flag. Ghana, the national flag of Ghana was designed by Theodosia Oko and adopted in 1957, it was flown until 1962 and then reinstated in 1966. It consists of the pan-African colors of red, gold, yellow, and green, in horizontal stripes, with a black five-pointed star in the center of the gold stripe, red is symbolic of the nation's fight for independence, the yellow gold is a symbol of the country's mineral wealth, and green is a symbol of the country's natural wealth. The fourth color is black, which represents emancipation, and is used as the color for the star in the center of the flag, Guinea-Bissau, the national flag of Guinea-Bissau was adopted on September 24, 1973, when independence from Portugal was proclaimed. It consists of three stripes where two of them are horizontal and one is vertical. Horizontal stripes have yellow and green colors, whereas the vertical one in the left part of the flag is red and it carries a black five-pointed star, the flag's black star is symbolic of African unity. Yellow stands for the sun, green is hope, and red represents the bloodshed during the long struggle for independence from Portugal, Burkina Faso, the national flag of Burkina Faso is formed by two equal horizontal bands of red, top, and green with a yellow five-pointed star resting in the center. It was adopted on August 4, 1984, there are two horizontal bands making up the background of the flag. The top band is red and represents the revolution of the nation. The green band below is symbolic of the nation's natural wealth and agriculture. The star in the center of the flag is yellow and is meant to represent the guiding light of the revolution. Congo the national flag of the Republic of the Congo consists of a yellow diagonal band divided diagonally from the lower hoist side corner, with a green upper triangle and red lower triangle. The flag was adopted for the first time in 1958 when the so-called Middle Congo gained independence from France and an autonomous republic was created, each color symbolizes a geographical or historical aspect of the Republic of Congo. The yellow band represents friendship and the nobility of the Congolese people while the green band represents the agriculture and rich forests of Congo. The red color is associated with blood to symbolize the struggle for independence, Sao Tome, the flag of Sao Tome and Principe consists of a red triangle situated at the hoist, with three horizontal green, yellow and green bands charged with two five-pointed black stars at the center. Officially adopted on November 5, 1975, shortly after gaining its independence from Portugal, the red triangle symbolizes that hard-fought struggle for independence and the two black stars represent the country's two main islands. The green, yellow, and black are the Pan-African colors, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Kitts and Nevis flag was adopted on September 19, 1983. 
It consists of a yellow-edged black band containing two white stars that divide diagonally from the lower hoist side corner, with a green upper triangle and red lower triangle. The green color is said to be symbolic of the fertile land, black recalls the African heritage of St. Kitts, and red the overall struggle for freedom.